All right, we're going to go ahead and look at how to make the um, this concrete wall. And it's not going to look exactly like it, but we're going to take a look and see how we can make this kind of concrete formwork pattern, which we're just going to take as a sort of square pattern that looks to be about, I don't know, four by four or something like that. So we'll take a look at how we can make that and apply that to this concrete wall. All right. so. Um, Here's the simple model. You guys have a copy of this project template, and we're going to use this one. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is scroll down and go to my east elevation schematic so we can look at the side of this thing. So basically, we want to sort of get a pattern on here, um, and I'll go ahead and hide these guys, that indicates where that concrete is going to go. Um, so. Um, we have like a square concrete piece, but it's going to be repeated um, a texture. So I'm going to go ahead and put a pattern on this wall that's going to represent like what that pattern size might be. And we can change it later if we need to. And I'm going to go ahead and select this basic wall. And I'm going to go to Edit Type. And I'm going to duplicate this wall because I want to make a separate wall type that's concrete. And so I'm just going to name this. Concrete formwork. And we'll keep it at 12 inches. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go to the structure and I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to change the material because this is a material of white and I want to change that to something else. So you just click on that little dialog box right there and it will bring up your material browser. And I will drag my material browser over here. Um, and it will highlight the material that is current, which is that wall generic white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and duplicate it. And I'm going to rename it to wall concrete formwork. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the appearance tab and it it is sharing an appearance with three other um, materials. And I'm going to change that. I'm going to separate it from all the materials by clicking on this duplicate right here. And it will duplicate that. And you'll see it change to one, um, white frame one. And it'll have a zero up here, which means it's not shared by anything. And I'm going to come over here to the information. And I'm going to update that information. So if I click on information instead of white frame, I'm just going to name it um, concrete generic. And then you could come down here and add concrete to these. So when you search, it'll come up. Um, but I'm just going to leave it that way for right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my graphics tab here. And I'm going to go and um, set a surface pattern. So right now there's no surface pattern on there. So I'm going to click on surface pattern. And there are two types of pattern, a drafting and a model. The drafting scales with the scale of the view. So eighth inch, quarter inch, it's going to make itself bigger or smaller. The model is going to stay the same. I want a model pattern for this that doesn't change. So I'm going to click on model. And you're going to see that it's going to start giving you options in inches. So I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to make a crosshatch, and I'm going to change that angle to zero. Whoops. I'm going to edit it again. If you hit enter, it, it closes that, so I just edited that one. Um, so I'm going to change the name to you know, square pattern. And I'm going to change the line spacing. We'll just start at an 8 foot by 8 foot spacing and see how that works. And we might update it later. And click OK. And then I'll click OK. And I'll change the color to a gray. And I'll click OK. Um, I'm fine with the rest of this for right now. So I'm just going to click OK. And click OK. And click OK. And now, if I left click 
Okay, and so it's not showing up right here, and the reason it's not showing up is because it's set to realistic down here. So I'm going to come down here and set it to hidden line, and you'll see that sort of square pattern appear. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And if you want to, like if over here, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that's kind of a weird little place. Like you can actually um, come in, and if you tap through the tab options, you can pick that. And you could say move that, you know, over to the end there so it actually ends and doesn't have that little nibbin on there. So you can actually uh, arrange where these things are. Of course, now I have a little nub over there, so it's kind of never wins. Okay, so when we come back, um, I'm going to apply a material to this and get it to um, adjust to that square. Okay.